what is in the pack on my back, I will show you. Yesterday I was to the National Library of Singapore and I took some nice books. Today I will show you the largest public library in Singapore. But before, if you didn't until now, please subscribe down below. My channel is about life, about 21st century international nomad lifestyle. Join me and we'll have great experiences to enrich our knowledge. We'll explore traditions and habits different corners of the world and we'll find best places where to feel alive. Before going to the library, we have to prepare a bit a list of interesting books to borrow. You can check also online the availability or even reserve the wanted books. The National Library is located in the center of Singapore in downtown core area on Victoria Street and is the largest public library in Singapore. The National Library building has 16 levels, 3 basements and is a two-block development with a unique architecture with sky bridges connecting the two blocks on every floor. The building houses two libraries, the Central Public Library at Basement 1 and the Lee Kong Kian Reference Library from Level 7 to 13. The building also houses the Drama Center from Levels 3 to 5 and by time to time events and exhibitions at the highest levels. The Basement Car Park has almost 250 parking places. There is also a bicycle parking place near the building. There are escalators on every floor and there are 7 glass elevators for public use. I'm just here on Victoria Street. This is the building of National Library of Singapore, where is also the Central Public Library, which is the largest public library in Singapore. Let me show you what is about. At Central Public Library, you need membership to be able to borrow books, e-books, audiobooks, CDs or DVDs. The membership is free for Singaporean citizens, around 10 Singaporean dollar per year for uh, permanent residents and around 50 Singaporean dollar per year for foreigners. The system at the Central Library of Singapore is completely automated. When returning the borrowed books, you just place them on a conveyor and the book is deducted automatically from your account's borrowed list. You can search the available books after keywords, after author or title, select the wanted format hard copy or digital, and the system mention the location where you can find the search item. There are people from library personnel that can assist you in any stage and support you to find the books you want to borrow.
the books are very well organized on categories and easy to access from shelves. You can borrow maximum 16 books once, which is more than enough. After choosing the books you want to borrow, you just scan them one by one at the checkout point and the books will be added in your account's borrowed list. You can borrow the books for a period of maximum 3 weeks and you can extend only one time with three weeks more before returning the borrowed items. At level 7 to 13, there is the Li Kong Qian reference library where the access is free and you can study, read or research on a specific topic in the facilities of the library, the articles and books available. The access at good information and lecture is almost unlimited. It depends only on us to make the choice and develop reading as a permanent habit to grow our knowledge. Thank you for watching, I hope to inspire you. If you enjoy my video, please give a like, share with others, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment down below and I will reply to you. Thank you, good night.